The World Economic Forum, or WEF, says, the public will rent everything they require. Stripping the right of ownership under the guise of sustainable consumption, and saving the planet. Of course, the tiny elite who rolled out this great reset will own everything. Hundreds of millions around the world deemed surplus to requirements, are to be robbed, or, are currently being robbed, of their livelihoods. Our every movement and purchase are to be monitored, and our main dealings will be online. The discussion in this episode will be very interesting to watch, so, don't go anywhere. But, before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. So that the YouTube algorithm will continue to promote this video to more people, and of course, more will be aware of this. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The World Economic Forum's annual meeting at the end of January in Davos, Switzerland, brings together international business and political leaders, economists, and other high-profile individuals, to discuss global issues. Driven by the vision of its influential CEO, Klaus Schwab, the WEF is the main driving force for the dystopian Great Reset, a tectonic shift that intends to change how we live, work, and interact with each other. The Great Reset entails a transformation of society, resulting in permanent restrictions on fundamental liberties and mass surveillance, as entire sectors are sacrificed to boost the monopoly and hegemony of pharmaceuticals corporations, high-tech big data giants, Amazon, Google, major global chains, the digital payment sector, biotech concerns, etc. Using CV-19 lockdowns and restrictions to push through this transformation, the Great Reset is being rolled out under the guise of a fourth industrial revolution, in which older enterprises are to be driven to bankruptcy or absorbed into monopolies, effectively shutting down huge sections of the pre-CV-19 economy. Economies are being restructured, and many jobs will be carried out by AI-driven machines. In a short video showcased on social media, the WEF predicts that by 2030, you'll own nothing and you'll be happy. A happy smiling face is depicted while a drone delivers a product to a household, no doubt ordered online and packaged by a robot in a giant Amazon warehouse. No humans were involved in manufacturing, packaging, or delivering this product, rest assured, it is a virus and bacteria-free, because even in 2030, they will need to keep the fear narrative alive and well, to maintain full-spectrum dominance over the population. The jobless, and there will be many, could be placed on some kind of universal basic income, and have their debts, indebtedness and bankruptcy on a massive scale, as the deliberate result of lockdowns and restrictions, written off in return for handing their assets to the state, or more precisely, the financial institutions helping to drive this great reset. The WEF says, the public will rent everything they require. Stripping the right of ownership under the guise of sustainable consumption and saving the planet. Of course, the tiny elite who rolled out this great reset will own everything. Hundreds of millions around the world deemed surplus to requirements, are to be robbed, or, are currently being robbed, of their livelihoods. Our every movement and purchase are to be monitored, and our main dealings will be online. The plan for individual citizens could reflect the strategy to be applied to nation-states. For instance, World Bank Group President, David Malpas, has stated, that poor countries will be helped to get back on their feet, after the various lockdowns that have been implemented. This help will be on condition, that neoliberal reforms and the undermining of public services are implemented, and become further embedded. On 20 April, the Wall Street Journal ran the headline, IMF, World Bank Face Deluge of Aid Requests from Developing World. Scores of countries are asking for bailouts and loans from financial institutions, with $1.2 trillion to lend. An ideal recipe for fueling dependency. In return for debt relief or support, global conglomerates, along with the likes of Bill Gates, will be able to further dictate national policies and hollow out the remnants of nation-state sovereignty. What will happen to our social and personal identity? Is that to be eradicated in the quest to commodify and standardize human behavior and everything we do? The billionaire class who are pushing this agenda think they can own nature and all humans and can control both, whether through geoengineering the atmosphere, for example, genetically modifying soil microbes, or doing a better job than nature by producing biosynthesized fake food in a lab. They think they can bring history to a close and reinvent the wheel by reshaping what it means to be human and they think they can achieve this by 2030. 
It is a cold dystopian vision that wants to eradicate thousands of years of culture, tradition, and practices virtually overnight. And many of those cultures, traditions, and practices relate to food and how we produce it and our deep-rooted connections to nature. Consider that many of the ancient rituals and celebrations of our forebears were built around stories and myths that helped them come to terms with some of the most basic issues of existence, from death to rebirth and fertility. These culturally embedded beliefs and practices served to sanctify their practical relationship with nature and its role in sustaining human life. Post CV-19, the World Bank talks about helping countries get back on track in return for structural reforms. Are tens of millions of smallholder farmers to be enticed from their land in return for individual debt relief and universal basic income? The displacement of these farmers and the subsequent destruction of rural communities and their cultures was something the Gates Foundation once called for and cynically termed land mobility cut through the euphemisms, and it is clear that Bill Gates and the other incredibly rich individuals behind the Great Reset is an old-fashioned colonialist who supports the time-honored dispossession strategies of imperialism, whether this involves mining, appropriating and commodifying farmer knowledge, accelerating the transfer of research and seeds to corporations, or facilitating intellectual property piracy and seed monopolies created through IP laws and seed regulations. In places like India, still an agrarian-based society, will the land of these already heavily indebted farmers then be handed over to the tech giants, the financial institutions and global agribusiness to churn out their high-tech data-driven GM industrial sludge? Is this part of the own-nothing-be-happy bland brave new world being promoted by the WEF? With a link completely severed between food production, nature, and culturally embedded beliefs that give meaning and expression to life, we will be left with the individual human who exists on lab-based food, who is reliant on income from the state, and who is stripped of satisfying productive endeavor and genuine self-fulfillment. Technocratic meddling has already destroyed or undermined cultural diversity, meaningful social connections, and agrarian ecosystems that draw on centuries of traditional knowledge and are increasingly recognized as valid approaches to secure food security, for example, see Food Security and Traditional Knowledge in India in the Journal of South Asian Studies. The massive technocratic transformation currently envisaged regards humans as commodities to be controlled and monitored, just like the lifeless technological drones and AI being promoted. But do not worry, you will be property less and happy in your open prison of mass unemployment, state dependency, track and chip health passports, cashlessness, mass vaccination and dehumanization. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.